I haven't done a vlog style YouTube clip ever, but I'm starting this week and it's a training camp. Uh, it'll be about 30 hours of training this week with Glenn Strutt. Hey, mate. Look at that right. rig. You got a tan as well. How'd you get a tan? Um, uh, comes natural for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Pat Bleasel. Over here, we're in Victor Harbour in Canada Lakes. Pretty stunning afternoon on the lake. Pat. Howdy. So these Canada. are two dudes I coach and they are both what I would call buddying pros. They'll get their pro buddying, license if buddying, they want it. Buddying like a flower. <laughs> yeah. Right? And then buddying. What is that? Isn't it? Isn't is it buddying pro? No, it's budding. Is it budding pro? Could be buddying bros after this week. I'm mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, um, only buddy. just met I mean. <laughs> You are a buddy of mine too. I'm a buddy I'll, I'll look it up bro. afterwards Put to it make sure. Budding, but is it right. budding or yeah, buddying? Yeah, budding, budding, budding. Budding. Yeah. So B-U-D-D-I-N-G. Well. Yeah. Is this making good content? All right. Get into yeah, but my, my brother's really good at editing. semantics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Danny, Danny's real good at editing. He hates it when I say, hey guys, this is Steve McKenna and I'm doing a voiceover because it's pretty obvious who's making the video. <laughs> anyway, um, Glenn Ox, how are you feeling about a 30 hour training week leading into another probably four of those <laughs> before Ironman New Zealand? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty keen. Obviously took the, took the week off work so I could focus on it, which will be good. Um, it's going to be my first time doing it. Have a look at those veins. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's ready. Um, You're so, ready already. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait. <laughs> um, I'm ready to smash it and just, just get all the gains we can and mm -hmm. then uh, smash New Zealand. So. Good. And if Pat? He didn't do triathlon, he could just become Levi Howard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the backup. That's the backup. <laughs> he does look good. <laughs> things go wrong. Pat, Pat, you're coming here with me in March, mid-March. Glenn will race early March. Yeah. And in mid-March, we're going to do Victor 100. Yeah, Victor 100, which is a like PTO style distance race, 18k run. I'm starting from the end. 18k run, <laughs> 80k bike, but starting with a 2k swim, so 100k distance. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the swim won't be in here. It'll be oh, really? on the jetty, but I don't feel comfortable ever swimming next to that jetty unless there's lifeguards like and boats. A trout <laughs> thing as well. There's like Shark Alley is where the water comes from. Yeah, to yeah. get into here so i don't you know out in the open water this is just a lake so there's yeah. great there's probably a grate over the water coming in anyway um we're, we've got big days every day um we're gonna do what are we gonna do tomorrow four hour ride hour run hour swim, hour swim, hour swim at the end so every day is gonna look a bit like that and i'll uh, we'll do this sort of vlog style um youtube clip for the week and Maybe as I'm getting towards full-time athlete mode now, I will continue it, but um, I feel like a bit of a wanker doing it. Um, we'll see how this one goes, and I'll continue every video to introduce myself, uh, saying that this is Steve making the video. Steve the wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, tomorrow there's more to come. After a crash last week, here's Glen Oss and Pat. The session is the session is four times 12 minutes, 10 minutes at 70.3 power, two minutes at 110% of FTP. And remember, guys, you are best leaving the ego at the at the door on this session. And I will be more impressed with a. <laughs> less competitive outlook on the session <laughs> and you'll get through camp that way anyway there's three minutes easy between each and we'll do four of them this will be an hour on the hill and then we'll do four hours all up and an hour run off later and uh, remember guys last of the tops a loser go <laughs> I 
I will definitely be last. So they can stick to the leaving the ego at the door sort of thing. is driving us home we're all done finished our swim we got steaks tonight and we're going to uh what are we doing swim 5k again in the morning run maybe Go maybe 80 effort. minutes or something or 90 minutes yeah. with efforts and then we're going to ride like three hours the tour down unders on locally here so we're just going to ride easy and watch the tour um kind of a recovery ride but it's still going to be what a six hour day and Shout out to Zane, who we just saw in the Aquatic Center. Came up and got a photo with me. Made me feel like a celebrity, and then everyone <laughs> told me that it's triathlon, no one knows what that sport is. So I was um, immediately beaten back down to a pleb level, <laughs> level, <laughs> level of confidence. You have to pay for pool entry, even if yeah. you get people coming up to you for photos. Had one, one photo. Yeah, that's cool. All right. training methods um, and how he's sometimes got like 7k continuous swims um, so Steve why were you saying that you constantly do continuous swims with no breaks uh, it started because um, I've got so famous that if people come up uh, and see me swimming they'll they'll wait there at the end of the pool and if I stop I'm there for a half an hour chat so what I'm trying to do is um, just keep swimming and the continuous swims are to avoid getting stuck in conversations but I've actually found that it's really effective I'm just going easy my heart rate's low but the strength gains are there as well so there's a lot of benefits to this continuous um, aerobic swim that I'm doing um, and yeah um, did I mention how famous I am I've got my hood up so no one sees me on the way in Just can't get anything done. Every time I stop, someone wants to take a photo with me or get me to sign something. Okay, so we are now gearing up for a ride, a recovery ride to go and watch the Tour de, Tour de Australia, the Tour Down Under, which is coming our way down to Victor Harbour, they 98k to go, and we're working on Glenn's position here, moving him further out because he was too crunched up in the side on pictures that we took on the GoPro the other day. So this is a huge benefit of um, finally catching up with online coaching athletes where you don't get to see their swim stroke and you don't get to see their bike position every day. But then when you do catch up, 
there's all these free gangs basically and what we've done is work on Pat's swim stroke while we've been here a lot. We've filmed him and made changes. Glenn's a very good swimmer so he's been super handy with this. And Pat probably knows more about bikes than the two of us. So Pat's <laughs> helping with more of the position stuff. So moving his front end from here to here. We'll move his bars out as well. And then he can stretch out a bit more, have a flatter back, be less crunched up. So he'll be more comfortable now. And the next step would be to angle this even more to close the gap between his hands and head. And we've already brought these pads in, as you saw in another video. So there's big gains to be made here. This is someone who wins his age group in um, Ironman 70.3s, but hasn't really dialed in a position yet, so. Might be like salt in there. Yeah. Camp is going well. <laughs> 